Mark from Gear to Survive again, our second night in a row we're making a video. I'm here with my friend Myra, she's filming me, so give her a break if she screws us up, right Myra? Right. Alright, she's not going to screw it up. Tonight we're going to talk about some Damascus steel arrowheads and knives that we have, something new. I posted this on Facebook about two weeks ago, but we now have them ready. Okay. These arrowheads are about three inches long, get a good view of that. Each of them are, are 256 layers of 1095 high carbon Damascus. Every one of them is a different pattern. These are not printed. These are real Damascus arrowheads. These are sharpened. These are sharpened so you can make these as a survival tool. I'll show you one real quick here. They will cut. Okay. Not as sharp as the ceramic knives you saw yesterday, but we're dealing with steel. Okay. These are made also with a hole, and then you can put a spear into it, or you can put a stick into it, any type of lasted survival tool. Okay. People are asking what they're carrying in. We've made one of these so far. Dave, the sheath maker, he's from Sheath Mechanic. He's making these for us. Fits right into the sheath, and you can wear this around your neck if you like. Easy to wear. If I can get around this hat, goes around your neck, okay? If you need it, you got it. A simple pull out, you get your small tool. Will Damascus rust? I've already had some people ask me. Yes, Damascus will rust. We keep a light coat of oil on these, okay? Always keep a light coat of oil on most of your blades. Damascus has also got micro serrations on it. You can't really see them unless you hold it up, but you can almost feel it, okay? 256 layers, 1095 steel, Rockwell 56 to 59. And these are something new that we have. They're $55 without a sheath, $65 with a sheath. Also, what we have is a new folder. It's Damascus steel, 256 layers, buffalo horn, handle. These are just something we do once in a while, something rare. We're going to be getting some more in soon. We sell these for around $55, $60. Nice little gift, but same type of steel. Okay, that's the new arrowheads. We now have six of them in stock, and we're hoping that you guys would maybe like to try one. Just let us know. I'm going to give you a show on these, and besides showing you pictures on Facebook. Okay, next thing we're going to move to real quick is our new knives made by Scorpion Knives, and these are called the Jeff Tank Todd. I'm going to read this from the internet from Scorpion Knives. But we have two of them in stock. We did have three. Some of you saw the Gladiator sword last week. We sold that. Okay. Let's start off with the small one. Four inch blade. Okay. Serrations. Sharpened edge. Dagger style military. Made in Sheffield, England. Nylon sheath. Take it to an angle. Pops right in for a locking system. Okay. Good side combat knife. Basically pull it out. Pop down. And pull it right out. Get you a good fast combat knife. Okay. The larger one we got in a couple days ago. Okay. Seven inch blade. The handle. You got a glass breaker. Skull crusher. Good combat knife. Nylon sheath. Let me cut my hand off, Myra. You don't have to stop the video. We'll show people how you cut yourself. Okay. Snaps right in. Good basic combat knife would look good in the woods, look good on your side and some camos. Serrations on one side, partial blade, full blade on the other, dagger style. These things are also sharp. Okay. Tearing up some of the old competitions business cards. The way we do it. Very good. Let me tell you a little bit about these uh, Todd knives. Okay. Jeff Tank Todd is a foremost military master instructor for European close combat and lives in New Zealand. Tank has years of experience in close combat and knife design, and this range of knives is an accumulation of combined effort between Tank and Scorpion knives. Okay, like I said, Todd is from New Zealand, Scorpion is in England. The range of knives that Todd makes has been carefully designed, developed, and tested to incorporate the most of the up-to-date features and design aspects to enhance usage of extended capabilities. 
The knives are double-edged with rope-cutting serrations and come with a tactical sheath designed to attach to the latest tactical vest and webbing. The knife is made of French steel, British hand grips, and American coating with the sheets being made by Paul Cross, a British expert holster and sheath maker, also living in New Zealand. Okay. The blade material supplied from Bonaparitis, a specialist French steel maker, is 420 carbon steel, stainless steel with 1314 chrome and 0.05 molly, which helps reduce rusting. The steel is hardened to Rockwell 56, the blade is coated with Floridian BP5505 for increased corrosion resistance. The grips are from a unique blend of glass filled poly and rubber and thumb groove and the side ridges for an extra grip. Scorpion knives together brings all these prop all the property manufacturing unique knife that will serve the owner well for many years. Okay, right now I have the four inch on hand and the seven inch, which is seven inch I sell for two hundred dollars and the four inch I sell for hundred and five dollars. Okay, so we get a quick rundown of the arrowheads, the Damascus knife with the buffalo handle, the scorpion knives, four inch and seven inch. Last look at them, the difference. And this was Myra's first video with us. So we thank you. Myra, do you have fun? Yes. All right, let's wave bye. Bye. Uh, they can't see your hand. You're back to camera. There you go. See you later. Thanks.